It's actually pretty outrageous this morning. So no, uh, President Biden is not talking about his climate change agenda which shut down oil production, putting national security at risk in America, sending oil prices spiking. He's not talking about the reckless spending of the Democrats, which sent inflation to 40-year highs. He's not even talking about his ineptitude on the world stage with a wide-open southern border where terrorists are flowing in and that reckless and botched withdrawal from Afghanistan, which sent our adversaries on the rise. Uh, and uh, he's not even talking about his appeasement of killers, including Iran for the last two years and China, which is sending surveillance uh, vehicles into our country. No, no, no. He's talking about MAGA Republicans for the chaos that we're seeing. Uh, it's, I, I think it's the most offensive thing possibly he's ever said in office, and that is a long, long list. Uh, look, since the day he took office, every single thing he's done has been to overturn what Trump's policies were, and every single time it has backfired, Maria, whether it's at the border or in our relations with China or relations with Russia, you name it, this is a weak president. The world sees it. If we are talking about a bumbling, stuttering, incapable man of 80 years old trying to lead this country, imagine what the thugs that run all those evil countries look at. I mean, they see a guy who cannot defend America, is not defending America, and now he's blaming his political opponents for all the things that he has done wrong. Energy is just the tip of the iceberg, but it is a really big tip of the iceberg because in suppressing American production, which should be three to four million barrels a day higher than it is right now, he has emboldened and enriched Iran uh, Venezuela, Russia, and other countries. Everything he has done is wrong. It is, it, it's inconceivable that he is blaming MAGA Republicans for the turmoil we see basically stemming from his misguided policies.